Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video after years of inactivity. Today I wanted to make a video for Backpack Battles, which is a game I've been playing a lot on stream the past week. Today I'll be focusing on the Beastmaster subclass for the Ranger, which I've played to fairly consistent success, so let's just jump into it. And if you like these, I can make more too. So, let's just jump right into it. I start a new game as Ranger. Let's take a look at what we got here. And we have an on sale broom, on sale tusk, pocket sand, healing herbs, buckler. We're gonna go ahead and start with the tusk. Tusk is number one. It's gonna be our main item that we need to grab early on. Uh, we do have a shield as well, which actually can lock down quite a few people. So there is some potential there. Let's go ahead and grab the shield. And we'll grab an additional clover, so that way we can make our very, a very early lucky pig. We don't need the whetstone. Grab the rock. Actually, let's sell the rock and use the banana, mostly for healing. And I'm also going to need, I'm also going to need uh, stamina later on. So let's see what we got here. They have two weapons versus a shield. And plus I have some healing here with an additional spike. And that one spike honestly might be enough to carry us here. That one spike is strong. Ah, close, but missed it by one HP. Now if we had another weapon, it'd be a bit better. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna grab a bit more space. We're gonna grab a tusk and we're gonna make a tusk poker. Go and give it another reroll. We'll grab up our first pig. So that way we can make a lucky pig. The Tusk Poker is really good. It's going to be generating more spikes. Because the majority of things that you're going to be going up against in other packs are going to be mostly melee weapons. That's going to make up the majority of things that you go up to right now. Because currently the way that this PvP works is that you're just going up against what other people have made. So now my goal here is to have this build populate everything. All right. We got our first tusk poker. I'm going to let them bag. Let's go ahead and buy the leather bag. Let's buy that as well. Perfect. So now we have a pig that'll start generating more money for me. And we have the lucky clover. We'll go ahead and take the rock and we're going to lock in the walrus tusk. We're going to need a lot of these. We're going to need about four of them and four short bows. But it's not nearly as bad as trying to find like eight whetstones to make half of the usable items for ranger and you can see we have another melee build here only they have a spike shield so we really want to get rid of our short sword as quickly as possible we do not like having a short sword because most of that damage a lot of that damage came from the spikes that i was doing to myself there so now it's time to go ahead and sell off the sell off the sword it's off that grab a tusk we will need another banana, but it's too early for that right now. Right now, we need another bow. Let's do that. Grab another pig, so that way we can grab more money. And there's another tusk. Make sure it's actually combining with the short bow. Let's head on in. We don't need a stamina bag. It's overpriced for the space that we're getting. Typically, you want to have a one-to-one -one cost to space ratio. Now, this person does have a poison shroom in addition to everything else that they have. They also started with leather armor, so they have a lot of HP that I have to work with here. And I have, currently have no sustain. We're gonna usually, we're gonna fix that hopefully on this round. All right, let's go ahead and grab a walrus tusk. We'll give that a roll and there's our goob. So now that we have goob, go ahead and move there and we'll increase the chance of actually proccing the shield that'll be best for us is increasing the chance for the shield to proc and then we have extra money i'd like to find another short bow if possible there's another lucky clover and another short bow with a banana which we're gonna need most of that we'll go ahead and buy the lucky clover now and then we'll move things around I tend to fill up most of my space with pigs and burn through kind of my early lives. Just so that way we can get as much money as possible. 
And because we have that increased chance for the buckler to go off, I'm pretty much draining all of their stamina, plus they have no stamina regen. And not using a banana on the pyromancer is... I don't know what you're cooking, but... Looking a little burnt. All right. So we're able to get through that. We'll go ahead and move these over, go through the bags. That way we can attack a little bit faster. We'll grab another tusk poker. And we'll grab the banana. Because we will want another banana. We're currently using 1.2. We're going to be going up to about like a 1.6, something like that. We'll grab another banana. We don't need the health potion, although it is on sale. An on sale health potion could be good, potentially. I'll float it for now. And we'll get a bit more luck. Looks good. Now we'll head on into the next round. Now this is a poison build. Not very well optimized, but a poison build nonetheless. So it will be stacking a little bit of poison on us. They are attacking with a pan and don't have much in the way of defense. So even though there's a little bit of poison stacking, we should be able to get away with this pretty easily. All right, not too bad. We do have another fanny pack that we can grab here. Let's go ahead and do that. We can also grab in the potion. There's another goo, but it's a little too early for that right now. Right now, we want to just try and get as many uh, goobs in, or as many of these short bows. Maybe get a lightsaber early before we start worrying about more goobs. More goobs is going to be more space than we possibly need. But I will need the second banana in here somehow. It's not important right this second. Let's go ahead and roll this. We do have on sale space. We'll go ahead and grab that. And we'll grab an, our last short bow. See what else we have. It's kind of expensive for the space. But I say we go ahead and take it. Just get it in now, because now I'm using 1.6. And with the two bananas, I have about 1.4. So I'm losing 0.2 stamina per second, which is really not that bad. And now the short bow is actually a better activator than the banana. It does 1.7 rather than every five. Wooden buckler is hit or miss on how good of an activator it is. So we'll just leave that there for now. Still, not too bad overall. Actually, hmm. I would like to have actually the bow be there. Perfect. And I think I'd rather have a double fanny pack here rather than touching the ranger bag because the extra chance to crit really isn't that important for the tusk poker. It hits for two to three. I'd rather it go faster and generate spikes faster than anything else. And we have a healing potion, so it'll be nice. All right, so they have an ax here plus a hammer. So I think it was definitely worth it to try, just try and get the spikes up as quickly as we can. As a build like this, especially with it being socketed with a corrupted crystal, once we get under half, that's or under 30%, that's really going to start hurting. We might not actually live through here. Ooh, close one. That's very scary there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take Beastmaster, which is the whole build. On sale space, especially for the leather bag, is very good for us. I can give this a roll. And we found the first item that we're looking for. This is our win condition, the rat. We want as many rats as we can possibly find. We're also going to go ahead and grab another tusk poker. So that way we can sort of get our build up and running. There is another pig. I would like to have, but I don't really have much in the way of space for it. So we're just going to go ahead and... Well, I could buy it. No, let's just keep rolling. We need we need pigs. We need pigs a lot. Well, not pigs. Actually, rats. We need rats. Give me more rats. Lock in the leather bag. And that'll be good for now. Okay. So let's see what we got here. They have two goobs. This wooden sword is only activating one of the two goobs. And they also have a broom plus the two tusk poker. So this is sort of 
Just too much stamina used to drilly. Kind of like how we're using just a little bit too much stamina due to the double banana. Typically we want about three, but we'll probably drop a bow here soon. All right. So now let's go ahead and get... Let's get this up and running. I would actually like, prefer to have a faster rat here, if at all possible. Yeah, we're going to go for a faster rat. We're going to better optimize our current... There we go. Not the worst. I've seen better. But not the worst. Alright. And now we can go ahead and move this over. And we can start making our second lucky pig. It looks hideous. It looks absolutely hideous. But we got there. And I committed the first cardinal sin, which is shop first because now there's space and now i want that on sale goob i want him right here actually let's go ahead and buy him and buy this as well you know what i'm willing to say that's good enough no no we can we can instead move that there. Move this down one. This. I'd rather that be a double activator. Put that there. Beautiful. That's still hideous but it all works just fine still hideous but works great and now that i think about it it actually would be better if we just use treat bowl itself yeah let's just use the treat bowl itself perfect and we can take this flip that over There we go. So now it's touching both the shield and the bowl of treats. So the bowl of treats has a higher chance to activate. The shields over here has a higher chance to activate. We have our bananas. There we go. Now that looks a lot less hideous. See, that's perfect. Let's send that into battle. Okay. And we're going up against mostly melee attacks here. Phoenix is a little scary, but shouldn't be too anything too bad. Now they'll go ahead and res with a bit of HP. They'll lose all their heat. We have a bunch of spikes up and running. Yippee. Everything's looking good. Perfect. All right, so now we have another lucky pig. We'll go ahead and put it over here. So now it's buffing the rat and the bowl of treats. We don't need the spear. We don't need the blood amulet. Uh, there's a lump of coal that I guess we'll just throw in. Because why not? At least until I find something better. Uh, so there's an on-sale pig. We're going to want more pigs. And there's a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are very good. As they deal damage based on the spikes. And we are generating a lot of spikes currently. Gonna keep rolling. There's another lucky clover. And another fanny pack. I do need more space. So I think we'll go ahead and lock that in. Now let's see how this one goes. Again, a bunch of melee weapons. So we should be pretty good here. Now there's a, quite a bit of poison. And as I've said before, poison is sort of like our main counter right now. They do have melee weapons, so they're going into our strength. Which is what matters. We're going to go ahead and grab a bit more space. And... There we go. Perfect. Now the bullet treats activates slightly faster. Get another shield in, but that's not really relevant. 
Uh, we don't need space right now. We need to find not another goob. Another hedgehog. Actually, would be pretty good right now. It's seven cents. Let's see here. I think we go ahead and sell off the shield. Just so that way we can get that running. Perfect. We'll view over there. Everything will be great. Because we want to get as many hedgehogs and rats. Ideally rats. Rats are better. Rats are the fastest activating. Also the easiest to move around in the bag. So we're just generating a whole lot of spikes and they're basically just running straight into us. Great. Now we do have protective purse, but that's kind of expensive to be honest. Protective purse isn't the greatest. An on sale potion, which we'll go ahead and float. Grab a rock. The pig. We do need money, and I still have lives to throw away. The hedgehog. I will sell a rock, get another reroll in. And we'll go ahead and grab this potion belt here. Still a lot more space. So this is kind of similar build. They're using the fast activating hedgehogs to massively buff the bows. But unfortunately, they're not stacking fast enough and they're using a lot of their stamina so the bows can't actually fire. And that's because they were making the lightsaber and you're usually gonna throw around whenever you make this lightsaber combination. Speaking of, it's time for our own throw because we need to make a lightsaber combination. So we're gonna go ahead and make a light goober and we're gonna just hope for the best in terms of stamina. There's another potion belt, which is again, very good for uh, creating space here. Unfortunately, it looks like we might have to completely reorganize in order to be able to actually use this thing. And God, do I hate doing that. All right, let's just dump it all. All right, let's make this super quick here. So we're gonna want bag there, bag there. Uh, back to the side. That'll be where our first goob is. That'll be our second goob. Let's move that sideways. Actually, let's grab that. Move this here. Uh, that there. Get a three slaughter. And then we will grab the six slaughter. Move this here. That one. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and get our rat. Uh-huh. We get our bow here, bow here. We do have another inventory. Make sure everything's touching. That bowl of treats, it's very important. Grab some extra pigs, a little bit of extra HP. We'll put our light goob on the side. Hmm, no, actually, wait. let's move this up to like here. Perfect would like a way to, you know what, let's do, let's do that for now. Realize I didn't actually change anything. This is why I can't do things live, or yeah, I can't do things live. All right, we're just gonna throw around. It's far too big for my brain, but it's, it's fine. Like that looks good as is. That doesn't really need too much else. Plus, we have the health potion. We've got the other bow. We've got our clover. Let's go ahead and do another reroll. See what we got here. I don't see anything in here that we need. So let's just move it. Actually, wait. Not quite done yet. Uh, we need to move this closer to the rat. Move that closer to the rat. We want the rats activating as quickly as possible. They are the number one item. So we're actually going to put everything around the rat. We want the rat. Super quick. Then I guess that one can also be touching for a small amount of chance to crit. Plus, yeah, not that great, but it's there. There, we'll min max it. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. All right, so we have another melee build, which is just gonna go straight into our spikes. 
Now we might actually lose this because we're using up a lot of stamina by using that lightsaber. Plus they do have a res, which is very scary. But it's like we were to pull through here. Now, this is where we could just end it and take some eight MMR, but I always like going into survival mode because this build hasn't even begun to take off yet. And I love that it has new music now. That's really good. All right, so let's get to work here. What we need to do is move that around and then we're gonna move this down. Go ahead and grab a squirrel, grab a bow, and that's made our first light goo. Actually gonna move you here. There we go. We want as many of the good activators around the light goob first. Light goob, very important. All right, we don't want blueberry, even though this thing does benefit from food. We don't wanna to do too much there. So let's just go ahead and try and find, ideally, more rats. That would be the best. We'll go ahead and move that up a little bit. We'll make the squirrel a little bit. Actually, no, we'll move the squirrel here, keep you here. Only benefiting one, but it's fine. Yeah, that works for now. That works for now. Uh, let's give it another reroll. There's another rat. Perfect. Now, the rats are better activators than the hedgehogs. So we want the hedgehogs around the rats. So this one is looking good. Ideally, we want the rats being activators and the hedgehogs being buffers for the rats. Protective first isn't really necessary. We're not really hurting for stamina right now. We're hurting for... We'll use Celerat, do our last reroll. We don't really need any of this. On sale, shield can be cool, but really, we just want another light goo because we're just going to remove the ability for the enemies to even hit us in the first place. So now we got plenty of rats going. You can see we're actually stacking that blind. And you'll see a lot of misses happening over here. Though so every single stack of blind is worth 5%. And if they don't have any luck, 20 stacks of blind means that they physically can't hit us. It's really good. Let's go ahead and take the hedgehog, move it over here. That's all buffing each other. So it's doing really good. So this roll, whetstone, even faster activation. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. We're gonna go ahead and take you, move the stamina bag. Perfect. So now that's getting two fanny pack activations. That's doing great. Let's go ahead, do another roll. See what we got, another rat. And we'll use the rat, again, use the rat as an activator, use the hedgehog as a buffer. Move our bow on over. And we'll see what else we have. Now there is a Whirlpool Tinger, but we don't really need this. It doesn't really do a whole lot, but it is on sale. But you know what is, you know what it doesn't do though? It doesn't give me more rats. So we're going to use our rerolls to find more squirrels and find more rats. Squirrels are really nice because they activate extremely fast, especially if you can get all of their buffs. And in addition to that, they steal buffs, which, oh my goodness, it, they can just rip all of the heat. I don't need this health potion anymore, so I'd rather do a reroll. And there's another rat. Perfect. Might actually go ahead and be able to sell a coal here. Sell a bow. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell a bow. And let's buy a rat. Rat's important. So again, use a rat as an activator. Use the hedgehog as a buffer. And we're actually going to do that over here instead. Since the light goob is actually more important, I think we prioritize the light goob being the one with all of the rats first. There we go. And we'll give some food to the squirrels. Beautiful. Now that looks good. Yeah. That looks great. Although, I think we can make it, there we go, slightly better. But I actually didn't sell the coal. Well, it's two cents to reroll, so we're not going to reroll while it's two cents. I like using all of my one cent rerolls. And we'll move that there. And everything's good to go. So now we're activating the light goob as quickly as possible. I was sent it in. Now they have a very similar build, but it's a little more disjointed. We'll see who ends up getting more activations here. I've managed to get most of the activations up. There we go. So even though it's a similar build, we've got a little bit better optimization, better rats. And let's go ahead and grab another rat. Again. 
of these pigs. We don't need them right there. There we go. Rat is the activator. Hedgehog is the buffer. We want to do every single time. So now let's go ahead and reroll. See what we can get here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. I always consider every time I play backpack battles, it's like the main quest to fill out the bag at least. All right. We don't need glowing crown. We don't need gin lamp. Really what we need is another lightsaber. That's the main thing we're looking for. And at this point, now I'm willing to use my money because we only have three rounds left. I don't like using the two reroll, but we need to find that lightsaber. We can, however, go ahead and grab another lucky pig, which will increase the chance that we get that double. Let's go ahead and use another reroll, find another rat. And now all of my rats are the activators. Rats are the main activators. They're as fast as possible and they're doing great. They're thriving out there. So now let's see how this looks. So you can see all those activations, even though we only have one light goob right now, we're still getting those 12 blinds in. Berserkers are very scary. This is actually an incredibly, this is an incredibly decked out berserker. Look at that. Look at how many piggy banks they've just been rolling in cash. Maxed out, double axe, bunch of gems, a ton of claws buffing it, burning coals everywhere, and still, we made it through. It did get a little scary there, but we were able to get through it. Now, we're probably going to need to go ahead and move this so that way we can triple buff this thing. There we go. So now the bowl of treats is a little bit more active. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and get that last lightsaber so we can make our final light goob. There's another squirrel. So we'll go ahead and grab that. All right. Again, we're looking for that last lightsaber. Now, as you saw, we don't really need it, but it definitely helps. There we go. There's our last lightsaber. Now, considering we only have two rounds left, we need to make the lightsaber on this round if we're gonna do it, so. Sell the bow, move that over, and we need to sell one more thing. I guess we'll just go ahead and sell uh, this piggy bank. We don't really need that anymore. We'll lock that in, and we'll keep the hedgehog logged in, locked in as well. So have four lives, so even if I throw this one, it'll be all good. And we'll lock in the pocket sand. There we go. So now that's the build mostly done. From here on out, after this point, it probably won't matter. Now we are going up against poison and poison is our number one counter, but well, we have a lot of rats going. The rats don't care. They have perfect accuracy, can't miss, and it's just a fun time. All right, so that is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab another hedgehog. Let's grab a sand. This is the last round, so see what we can get here there's a bird I, you know what sure slap in the bird why not just in case it goes a little bit longer we don't need the bananas anymore we don't need the tusk poker those aren't really part of the build anymore now it is just all entirely rats just rats as far as the eye can see there's a warple tinger all right, so that there's nothing left for us. So let's just make sure that everything is as optimized as it can be. Uh, the bird is hitting four of the six rats. I don't think there's anywhere I can position that bird to where it can hit five. I mean, technically this is a fifth rat, so that one's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good optimization. The squirrels are doing their thing. Uh, just cause let's just make that a little bit better. We actually didn't even end up needing this purse, so there's that. We do have a single bow. We'll put it into the ranger bag, but that's pretty much the build. This is the rat pack build, and now, as you'll see, uh, now that we have the double light goobs, whatever we're going to be going up against physically won't be able to hit us within about two seconds of us starting. So let's go ahead and pause. They have 32 stacks of blind, and you'll notice that every single one of their weapons has a 0% chance to hit. And that will pretty, once you get this build set up in this way, which it's been fairly consistent to be able to pull this up. You know, we've been slowly climbing in the ranks with it. Um, it 
just sort of destroys every single build. The only thing that this really loses to is Poison Bomb, which has been pretty heavily nerfed, and anything that, uh, you know, needs to attack the enemy is just going to have a bad time. So that is the last round done without even taking a single hit because they just, they can't hit you at all. They have 55 stacks of blind. And there's no real way to you know counter that in the current meta. So I hope you enjoy the Rat Pack build. Go ahead and try it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, uh, leave a comment. I'll probably read through them. Uh, sorry, it's, you know, I haven't been really been making too many videos, but this is me sort of just sort of breaking through out of my shell and I'm just going to upload this and we're just we're just going to start making some videos of things that I find enjoyable or builds that I make you know on stream and I'll make a video dedicated to it so as I said if you enjoyed it feel free to leave a like and thanks for watching see y'all in the next one bye bye